Beats. Yo, what's up family? This is the 504 Head Buster, and today we're doing a little bit of a tutorial. Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to utilize a 16 by 9 ratio when using an ultra wide, whether it's a 21 by 9 or it's a 32 by 9 ratio. Personally, I'm working with 5K, the Samsung ultra wide, so my ratio is 32 by 9, but the strategy I'm going to show you works effectively whether you have a 32 by 9 or 21 by 9, I think that's what it is. But regardless, using this, you're going to be able to maintain a perfect stream quality. We're also going to go over perfect aspect ratios, basically understanding why it's better to use a perfect aspect ratio rather than something like 900p. When it comes down to it, the best thing to do is to stream with the perfect aspect ratio. All right, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. As a preface, all of my scenes obviously are set up at 60 by 9. That's what Twitch is only allowing us to stream out of. Interesting to note, YouTube actually allows you to stream in ultra wide. So if you stream to YouTube, you can actually stream in 21 by 9 or a 32 by 9 aspect ratio for those people out there who might want to stream in YouTube. So let's go ahead and switch. We're going to switch to our ultra wide scene. And the reason why we're going to switch to this scene is because it, you get to see exactly what we're doing here, right? So we're basically taking a 16 by 9 image and we're taking our cast or our screen share, which is, or for me in this example, I'm using a screen capture. I'm not using a, um, a capture card. But we're taking our screen capture and basically because it's an ultra wide screen capture, it's, it's going to be larger than 16 by 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale that down. So let's go ahead and pull up open broadcaster software you see we got it here right in the middle um i might end up zooming this in so that you guys can see so just as a bit of a preference these are all of my scenes and all of my sources we'll show this as an intro so that you guys can see what it looks like when you have everything fully set up most people using open broadcaster software probably have this set up already so what we're going to go into is our screen capture so this right here I have mine titled Dios Mente, which is God Mind in, I think, Latin or something. I forgot what I was looking at at the time. But basically, as you can see, this is a 16 by 9 uh, window, I guess is the best thing to say. This is 16 by 9. So, 16 by 9, basically, how do we get this set up for ultra wide? What we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to hit settings. From settings, we're gonna go ahead and go to video. And on video, I can't do it right now because I'm recording. But on video, you're gonna be able to click this. And it's gonna allow you to enter in your custom resolution. So for me, I have here entered in 1664 by 936. The reason why is this is because this is a perfect 16 by nine aspect ratio. So the reason why we're looking for the perfect 16 by 9 aspect ratio, let's go ahead and look this up right quick. All right, so as we can see right here, Mr. Secret Oil on Reddit. And this is what first got me into the perfect aspect ratios. So 900p is a weird resolution that causes issues with scaling on the client side. 936p is cleanly divisible by 8, which does not have that problem. So there you go. The other option is to go 1080p, but not everyone has horsepower to encode, encode that. So really from 900 to 936p, realistically, you're probably not switching your bit rate very much, but there's a little bit of difference. But most importantly is that it can cause issues, very rarely does, but in order to make sure that you're not that rare case, it's best to just go ahead and use a perfect aspect ratio. So that's why we're using this. So here we go. Mr. Secret Oil responds once again. He says, it has to be divisible by 8 because the video codec H264 works by breaking up the video into 8x8 eight eight pixel blocks. So if you have a resolution that doesn't divide cleanly by 8 in both directions, it has to make blocks at the edges that are only partially used. This wastes encoding time and bandwidth and appears to cause weird artifacting in certain situations. So it's best to stick with the perfect aspect ratio. The most important thing is the um, is the pixelation or the artifacting. That is the biggest thing that you will see in 
uh, whenever you're streaming with open broadcast software. The best way to avoid that is to make sure that you stream at a very, very high bit rate if your internet can handle it. Uh, once again, shout out to Mr. Secret Oil. We're going to go ahead and thumb up his posts as he definitely came through with that reply right there. But that's going to be your best bet. So, what, of course, you probably all know that bit rate. But Twitch, most of, if you're streaming on Twitch, you guys probably already know. Twitch only allows you a maximum bit rate of 6,000 in comparison to YouTube. YouTube allows you a maximum of like 30,000, something crazy. Uh, the reason being is YouTube has more infrastructure, especially being bought by Google and Alphabet, whatever you want to call it. So with that being said, they have more resources. They allow more maximum bit rate, but Twitch allows 6,000. What you can do is, is you can ignore stream service settings. And I'm, uh, this is not legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? If you get in trouble with this, I'm not liable. This is only entertainment and educational purposes only. I ignore the streaming suggestions just because especially when you're at a very high resolution such as 936p or even 1080p because some people can manage that especially if you're an affiliate or if you're if you're an affiliate or if you're partnered you'll get the um, you'll get the codec anyway so if people have the uh, the option to downscale the quality to 720p whatever they need but what I do is just to make sure to eliminate any chance of artifacting whatsoever you need your bit rate as high as possible i did the math about a year or two ago i forgot the math exactly now i'll probably have it written down somewhere but basically for 1080p to stream without artifacting you need somewhere around 6200 to 6400 so what do i mean by that number so this my number is 7000 just because i like the extra headroom to make sure no matter what game i'm playing so i have 7000 here but i would suggest 6200 or 6400 that should eliminate any artifacting that you see on your stream so if you're ever streaming and you have small pixelation for whatever reason that is why it's because you need a higher bit rate so back to our resolution so as you can see we have our perfect aspect ratio here 16 by 9 aspect ratio this is 1664 by 936 so what you would notice is that our base canvas is set as that and so is the output the reason why is because if your base canvas is set as anything other than your output canvas, there's a chance to have any artifacting or blurriness due to the fact that your computer and op open broadcast software has to downscale. During that sampling process, quality can be lost. You want to output the same aspect ratio that you're inputting. That would allow for basically picture perfect quality that's what you want i choose Lanxos, even though we're not downscaling i choose it just to make sure that everything's sharp you don't have to worry about that if you got it if these two numbers are the same if your base canvas resolution is the same as your output canvas resolution you don't have to worry about downscale filtering whatsoever and of course we're streaming at 60 frames a second that's what you want if it's possible if not streaming at 30 frames a second will definitely give you a better a better performance as far as using a lower bit rate all right so now that we have our perfect aspect ratio set we're going to click ok and now that that is set what you should have is you should have this canvas that pops up all right well the sun started coming out and so camera's bleeding a little bit but we'll rock with it so basically what you're seeing here is this is our 16 by 9 canvas so now that our 16 by 9 canvas is set, we have to take our screen capture. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus down here. We're going to go display capture. Or if you have your, if you have a game capture device such as a capture card or an Elgato. I actually have an Elgato, but I don't use it for my PC. But you can use game capture as well. But for us, we're going to go display capture. And you're going to create create new I suggest to name it something that you won't forget because you're going to use it in all of your sources so name it something that you can't forget click OK and so now you have a very a brand new display capture so what's going to happen is that especially if you're on ultra wide you're going to have this you're going to it's going to be too large so you're, you're left with in my case a 5000 pixel canvas that's trying to fit inside of a 1600 pixel canvas all right all right, so now we're going to select our display capture. We're going to right click it, transform 
and we're going to do center to screen we want it to be perfectly centered and we're going to right click it again transform we're going to go fit to screen so now what you have is that you have this 5000 resolution or if you're with the 2k ultra wide whatever it might be you now have your 21 by 9 or your 32 by 9 resolution fitting perfectly inside of this 16 by 9 window okay and so now we can go ahead and lock it in place so it doesn't move anymore and that is that very very simple not too difficult whatsoever so same thing for our other scenes so this is right here this is i have two scenes so i have since i'm using ultra wide i have two scenes this is our ultra wide scene so just in case i want to share the full ultra wide experience with the chat so whenever i'm streaming you can see the full ultra wide experience voila and in some cases i want to be able to get a zoom in because if uh, especially for mobile users a lot of people with desktop don't complain about this view but mobile users have a really tough time viewing from this viewpoint so what we do for our mobile users is we have another scene let's go ahead and switch scenes and this is our 16 by 9 scene as far as it's cropped in completely so this is no longer um, a 32 by 9 scene where you can see a 32 by 9 image cropped inside of a 16 by 9 image now we have a 16 by 9 image point blank period so basically same process we're going to go ahead and close this one because that's our original display capture so we're going to go ahead and close that let's go display capture bada bing bada boom and when it pulls up you'll probably see the same thing it's stretched it's out of place it's not looking how you want it to so from here we're just going to go to we're going to right click transform center to screen and that's all you're going to do for that one so for this one we're just going to center it to screen because we want to make sure that this is a 16 by 9 crop so as you can see this is the center of my screen this is the center of my 5000 resolution window it even says it right here display 5000 if we click this you see that the edges are in, are indeed still bleeding even though we can control this and manipulate this you can see the edges are still bleeding all right so we're going to hit the plus all right so we're going to turn off our original display capture so we can demonstrate this once again so display capture and this time we're just going to add existing because we already have that same display capture so we're going to take that and now same thing's going to be the situation here is that it's going to be too big it's going to be too stretched out all right and so when you pull it up it's going to look something like this what you want to do is drag this corner bring it right on down and we're just going to keep on doing that until we get a nice size basically we want the edges these top and bottom edges to align your left and right edges are going to have a bleed because again this is an ultra wide so your audience is not going to be able to see your whole screen in this scene they're just going to be able to see the central point of your screen so you want to make sure that these top two edges are aligned the top edge and the bottom edge are aligned so once the top edge and the bottom edge are aligned you are then going to go ahead right click transform center to screen and so now you have a perfectly centered image this is the center of my screen and also we are still maintaining our 16 by 9 aspect ratio i can also now bring my display capture all the way to the bottom and voila now my camera pops back up everything is exactly how i want it all of my sources are above i always keep my display capture at the bottom and everything is in perfect order that's one of the biggest things just make sure you keep these things in order because you can have a whole lot and it can become overwhelming over time i realized that there is one more thing that you guys possibly could get confused with or that just could be a small issue so I decided to come back and let's address this really quickly so basically what we're looking at right here is our traditional ultra wide screen this is the 16 by 9 screen you see this window right here and we have the ultra wide in the middle looks like a little window that's peeking out of a you know it's like a, a window into another world which is awesome so 
what you're looking at people might wonder what is this in the background so this background is a custom background that i found uh, the beautiful thing about open broadcast software is that it allows you to do movie files or image files so you can't do a gif but that's because you don't need to do a gif because you could just do the movie file so what you would notice is that this is a custom wallpaper that i have it's an actual background that i got as part of a stream bundle um whenever i get backgrounds and things like that for my stream i always keep the bundles and in this bundle they came with a dope background it's basically honestly the still image it's nothing moving uh, there's no moving parts to it you can see it's just a, a simple background if i toggle it you can see it toggles off but it's a movie file for whatever reason but this is the background and i thought it was cool we might end up changing it at some point you know do something different at some point but i thought this was really cool and uh you know i think i will do something different because it would be awesome to have like an actual moving video back there something not too distracting but at the same time something visually pleasing so i thought about that just wanted to throw it in there boom so basically what I have for that background, simple enough, we hit the plus button and you can go to image or media source, one of the two. In particular, this one is media source because it's a video file, but image works just as fine and you can set that as your background. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this tutorial. Definitely appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, peace, love, prosperity, abundance, only the best vibes. You already know what time it is. Definitely. Hit the links in the description box. We stream every single day on Twitch. Tap in, catch us live, catch a vibe. Hit us up in the Discord. If you need anything, holla. We got you no matter what. All type of PC tips and knowledge. Anything you might need, game knowledge, whatever it might be. We've got a great community building, and we hope to see you there. Salute to the family. I will catch y'all later. Peace. Peace.